Hi, hello, welcome once again. Um, this is GoGate Engineering Institute, the institute that provides you with extreme technical information relating to structural design of several categories of structures. If you recall, um, GoGate Engineering Institute will be providing you with engineering technical information relating to the design of fixed offshore platforms, jetties and key sites, bridges, reinforced concrete structures, hydraulic structures, culverts, design of retaining wall, and several other kinds of structures. At Gogate Engineering Institute, we also carry out structural consultancy. We carry out handle very complicated projects, design of dynamic resistance structures, earthquake resistance structures, blast resistance structures, and the like. Today, we want to focus our minds on the structural design of a four-story structure. We want to concern our minds on the structural design of a four-story structure for a client. We will be taking you through all the entire processes from the structural from the architectural drawings. We will take you through the architectural drawings. We will explain to you how and the procedures you will follow through in developing the structural framing plans in compliance with technical requirements from BS 6399 part 1 in, in terms of loading requirements part 3 roof load requirements and then BS 8110 part 1 this is in a response to your request we sent out a questionnaire some time ago asking our respondents to choose from a host of courses they would like us to um, take through. Now we put on the structural design of a head overhead gantry crane, a three ton overhead gantry crane. We requested for people to select whether they would like us to carry out a structural stability analysis of a cantilever retaining wall. Or the structural design of a multi bay rigid portal frame steel structure in compliance with the British Standard 5950, BS 5950 Part 1 and 2, and BS 2563. We also requested if people would like to see the structural design of a four story reinforced concrete structure. So, what you see on your screen is the response list we got. This is the chart about 68.4% of our respondents insisted that they would like us to take us take through a course on the structural design of a four-story structure so we're going to do that now and we'd love you to pay attention we're going to carry out the structural design of a live four-story structure in line with bs 8110's requirements now this is an architectural design of a four-story structure um, so a four-story structure it's a structure that has four suspended levels so you would have the ground floor okay you have the first floor so this is the first second and third floor okay this is the typical first to third floor so a four-story structure has is called a four-story structure because there are four suspended levels above the ground if you have two suspended levels above the ground the first floor and the roof level it will be called a two-story structure so there's a misnomer people seeing a suspended floor and calling it a one story that's wrong if it has four suspended floors or four suspended levels rather above the ground then that is a four story structure so in this case we have the first floor second floor third floor and then the roof level so we would like to design this four story structure extensively with the use of stad stad is called structural analysis and design it's a design package that permits you to carry out all forms of linear elastic second order non-linear elastic second order linear elastic that is to say with p delta effects okay so p delta effects are where you have loads that are eccentric with the with the point of action or you have additional moment induced by you know lateral loads those are p delta loads then you have non-linear elastic analysis you have plastic analysis it carries out dynamic analysis as well too it carries out blast analysis and you know design of earthquake resistance structures this is the power behind that but for this session we're going to teach you how to design a four-story structure 
with that we want to start this session from scratch you know starting with the architectural design so this architectural design came in from our clients um so if you let's look at it together from what we can see it's um this is the ground floor plan that's the first to third floor plan now the ground floor plan the architect has tried to design this in such a way that he has pro provided tentative locations of the columns where he would like to see the column this is just his own proposal you are not obliged to go walk through with the architectural with the architect's proposal okay it's the responsibility of a structural engineer to design a structure fully to ensure that the structure can resist all the loads that it will be carrying okay and the loads are the shear forces the axial forces the bending moments in addition to the you know the um, i've talked about the axial shear and the bending moment these are the typical loads that a structure will be carrying you know in addition to a combined effect of these forces on the columns or on the beams or on the slabs okay now on the ground floor um so he has positioned the columns he has you know assumed a, a, a you know an arrangement of the columns so we can see you know parking space for vehicles to park you know he has provided parking lots for vehicles so the ground floor is completely free there's no structural layer just have the access there so that's the stair that goes it's a quarter ton staircase it goes up there you know you have your first landing then you move the next and then you go to the first floor okay now on the first floor what we can see on the architectural design we can see that um, okay so there's a room there there's a room here there's a room here this room is in suit so there's a um, shower and toilet um, this other room is um, there's an access to there so it's on suit as well too um, from the living room you have a lobby that takes you there and then there's another room that is on suit so all the three rooms are on suit so you have three rooms here and then three rooms on the other side now this location is separated from that location you know by that wall and from what i can see here is that the structure also has a boys quarter there's a boys quarter on every floor so it's obvious now that for this architectural design it's a dual three bedroom structure on each floor so three bedrooms times three it means we have six um okay so three bedrooms times three because you have the first floor second floor and then the third floor okay so it's um um so it's nine bedroom structure okay okay so it's um so you have three bedrooms here so you have one two three master's bedroom and then you have three so you have six bedroom so it's three six bedrooms per floor okay so six bedrooms per floor so it's six bedrooms per floor so it's a four story structure comprising of six bedrooms per floor so it's the responsibility of a structural engineer to design this entire structure the purpose of this structure is for residential purposes okay it's um, for residential purposes so we're going to look through how we are going to carry out the structural design okay um okay so if you look at what the architect has shown i'll start with um, let's look at a proper delineation of the architectural design so you can see um, the first floor is suspended so the ground floor is completely for parking purposes so first to, to third floor are all suspended okay um, the height to the to the to the roof level is about 14.9 meters so you're going to design the structure with environmental loads as well too we're going to see how the, how that will be done um, if we look at the okay so that's the right elevation okay um that's section a okay so this is a section through here this is section a okay so take a section through here you see that stair you see this other stair going there okay so if you look left 
is a transverse section so that's section a you know we see this stair going right okay so that's the stair going right and then you're going left on the right side now what you see on the right side you know it's going right and then you're going left so it's going up as you can see so this section a you know you see the exact elevations of each level respect to the finished ground level okay the finished ground elevation is taken to be zero now if we look at the roof we see that the roof is also slab